Jean, I want to talk with you a little bit about something that we call a review of systems. And this is my way at the end of our interview, and this is the last part of our interview, where I kind of go through all the different physiology systems um, of you, and I get to ask some questions about them, and they're short questions, but it's a way for me to kind of check out to make sure there's nothing that we've missed. Okay. So what I want to start out with is, um, has there been any change in your weight, either up or down? No. In the same. Okay. Are you satisfied with your current weight? Not really. Okay. I mean, I'm. It's what I am, and so it's okay. Okay. All right. But I really would like to be a little thinner. How much thinner would you like to be? Um, probably at least fifty pounds thinner. Okay. All right. Any problems with fever or chills? No. Any problems with night sweats or unexplained fatigue? No. No. I want you to think about your skin now. Any problems with rashes? No. Lumps or bumps? No. Itching? No. Okay. Any change in your hair that you've lost hair or your hair seems drier? No. Nope. Grayer, but not dry. Okay. Do you color your hair? I do. Okay. Any changes in your nails? No. Brittle, that they're more brittle? That no. they don't grow? No. Um, that you have little holes, what we call little pitting in them? No. Okay. Any change at all in your moles or your freckles? Um, not really, but the older I get, the more I get these little skin tag things here on my neck. Okay, anywhere else on your body other than your neck? Um, I do have a couple on my waist or on okay. my chest area. But, of course, they're not exposed to the sun, so they don't get as dark as these, but they still are little um, bumps. Okay. All right. I noticed that you're tan. Do you, do you use a sunscreen when you go out? I do. You do? I don't use, like, a 50 or a 60, but I do use a 30. Okay. Um, and I do tan very easily. Okay. I love to garden, so I'm outside, outside a lot. Any mm -hmm. changes in freckles or moles on any part of your body that you've noticed? No. Okay. It, now I want to talk about your eyes a little bit. I noticed that you're wearing glasses. Yeah. When's the last time you saw an ophthalmologist? Well, about six months ago. About six months ago? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any pain in your eyes? No. Tearing or dryness? No. Double or blurred vision? No. Okay. Now we talked about your nose and the symptoms that you have with that feeling, the congestion, but usually, other than the complaint that brings you in, any complaints of runny nose or being stuffed up all the time? No. Any history of nosebleeds? No. Okay. You want to talk about your ears. Any ringing in your ears? No. Any dizziness? No. Okay. A little lightheaded, though, little light -headed. With, along with my symptoms, but that's not normal. Okay. All right. So that's different now. Correct. Any pain in your ears? No. Any loss of hearing? No. Okay. In your mouth, any pains or sores in your mouth? No. When's the last time you saw a dentist? October. Mm, October sometime. All right. Bleeding? No. Bleeding in all of your gums or no. your teeth? Any hoarseness that you feel like you're losing your voice all the time? No. Okay. I want to talk about, you said that you did self-breast exams, and that's something that you're always worried about. Notice any lumps or bumps or cysts in your breasts? No. Any discharge from your nipple? No. Okay. Any, um, there's something else I want, any pain in your breasts at all? No. All right. Any, I want to talk about your lungs, any coughing all the time? No. Do you cough anything up? No. Do you ever cough up blood? No. All right. Do you ever feel short of breath? No. Do you ever wheeze? No. Okay. When you, when you, with your heart, do you ever have chest pain? No. Do you ever feel like your heart is beating so fast it's going to beat out of your chest? No. Okay. All right. Um, any shortness of breath when you sleep at night? No. Do you notice that you have to sleep elevated to be more comfortable, or are you, t are you able to lie flat? Flat. Okay. Any pain in your calves after you walk for a period of time? No. Any swelling in your legs? No. Okay, and you said that you felt lightheaded, but you've never fainted, is that correct? Correct. All right. With your stomach, any problems swallowing or feeling like you can't get food down? No. Any complaints of heartburn or like food is coming back up? No. All right. Any change in your appetite, more or less? No. Nausea or vomiting? No. Okay. Any abdominal pain? No. Do you ever throw up blood? No. All right, good. Um, any presence when you have a bowel movement of blood? That you see blood in the, in the stool or in the toilet? No. 
Are your bowel movements ever dark black like tar on the street? No. All right. Any di constipation? No. Diarrhea? No. Any foods that just do not set well with you? Onions sometimes give me more of a heartburn. Okay. But I know it. And, and if I'm going to eat them, that's what I get. Anybody ever told you that you look yellow to them or that the whites of your eyes look yellow? No. No? Okay. All righty. Um, any urination changes for you? Changes that you go more frequently, that you urinate more frequently? No. Any problems holding your urine? No. Any pain with urination? No. Any feeling like you have to go all the time? No. Any feeling like you go a little bit at a time? No. Okay. Any problem if I had to ask you to stop, you know, the flow of your urine, you could stop it? Yes, I could. Okay. Um, now, you mentioned, too, that you had had, I'm sorry, please tell me again, how many pregnancies? Two. You've had two. One and miscarriage. One, one miscarriage. And how far were you with that miscarriage? Three months. Three months. Okay. And then you carried one child to term, and that is your daughter? Correct. And how old is she now? 31. 31 years old. And was she, what type of delivery was she? Vaginal. Vaginal, okay. Alrighty. And you mentioned that you live with your husband. Are I you do. sexually active with him? Yes, we okay. are. Is he your only partner? Yes, he is. Do you have any sexual health concerns at all? Nope, not at okay. all. Okay. Any concerns that you have about past sexually transmitted infections or risks for those? No. Okay. Um... Any joint stiffness in your either your small joints, your fingers, your toes, or your large joints? Um, no, but I have been going for arthritis exercise in the warm water pool. My knees get a little stiff prior to that, mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons why I have been continuing to go. To the warm water. Has right. anybody ever told you you have arthritis? No. But I did have a little bit of a gout experience okay. about three or four years ago. And I think gout is kind of a related arthritis type situation. And where was the gout? In my big toe on my left foot. Okay. All right. All right. Any swelling in your joints? No. Okay. Any inability to move them that you couldn't move, that you couldn't extend your arm or your no. leg? All right. Any muscle or cramps anywhere? No. Any in a, where you feel weak, that you've lost muscle, muscle strength? No. Okay. Any headaches? Now, I know you came in to see us for a headache today, but any headaches normally? No. Seizures? No. Tremors where you're shaking? No. Numbness or tingling going anywhere? No. Okay. Uh, any time where you feel like you lost speech or vision? No. Okay. Any time where you were anemic? No. Okay. Uh, bruise easily that you bump into something and all of a sudden you notice you have a huge bruise? No. Okay. Um, we've talked about your thyroid. Any intolerances to heat or cold? No. Any episodes of increased sweating, increased thirst, increased urination? No. No. Any episodes of depression? No. Anxiety? No. Um, periods of insomnia? You couldn't sleep? No. Okay. Any periods of where you just didn't feel you could enjoy your life very much? Not at all. Okay. Uh, anything else about you that you want me to know? Nothing that I can think of. You've covered it all, I think. All righty. I'll take all this information back to Dr. Smith. Thank you for talking with me today. Thank you very much. All right.